Hi everyone and welcome to Fallout uh, 2021. So uh, I decided to make this short video uh, for you to know how the semester is gonna work out and what to do, or how to use the canvas and what to do to succeed in this course. Of course, we're gonna meet the first week and I'll go over the details again, uh, but uh, I think it's a good idea to watch this video a couple of times to see what you need to do, how the syllabus works, and uh, how you can succeed in this course. First of all, my name is Robert Mardirosian, and I'm going to be your uh, instructor for this course. We're not going to uh, be meeting uh, all the time, but uh, when it's needed, I will have my office hours. And then when it's needed, we are going to meet, but uh, most of the lectures are already recorded. <clears throat> and I even left the recordings of my lectures from uh, previous semesters that these are the Zoom recording. And uh, basically everything is ready for the course. All you need to do is to kind of organize yourself and follow uh, the course. And I'll let you know what to do step by step. Now to start, let me, I just published the course, uh, the Canvas course today. Maybe some of you already uh, saw that, but let me go over this step by step and uh, let you know what you need to do. So let me share my Canvas screen and then if I'm looking around, I'm just working on the computer. So let me share that. So there we go. This is our Canvas screen. This is my view, the instructor's view. So as you can see, if I go to the home page, so Again, one thing I don't want you to worry about are all those dates because these are from the last semesters and I can't take them out. So for the syllabus, you can just click on course syllabus or modules. They're gonna both take you to the same place. And uh, before I start, uh, all the items for the course are gonna be uploaded on modules. So when you log into the canvas, just click on modules and you'll see everything. So let me just go over this, then I'll do the student view so you can see. So if you click on course syllabus, that takes you to modules. As you can see, we are on modules. Or if I go to the home page and I click on modules, I'll still go to the same place. Now, this is the syllabus, the very first module I'll go over this one by one and here I put a video about the course syllabus and details let me publish this and this is the video I'm making now so I'm going to upload it for you so you can see so if you click here there's nothing here but you are going to see once I'm done I'm going to upload it you're going to see the video now the way you can go to the next item you can click next or you can just go back to modules and continue. Now there's a welcome letter here for you. I uploaded some videos from YouTube and you're going to see this once in a while for uh, lectures. Also, I try to kind of upload the useful videos, not all of them on mine, but uh, it's going to be helpful for you. So please go over, watch this video. That's just the introduction to statistics. Read all those items uh, one by one and you have uh, here I put some uh, useful links for you not here only but uh, there's another item for that now how you can prepare and succeed in this course first of all we're gonna add the zoom lectures already there or uh, recordings you need to watch them one by one then I put some reading materials and you have the textbook also and just to let you know homework quizzes, everything, I'll make them on Canvas. So everything is going to happen on Canvas and your exams also. Once you watch all the recordings, all the videos, then you can start the homework. You can do the homework on limited amount of time. Then after that, you have the quizzes, finish the quizzes. The quizzes is, I think it's one or twice. So if you do well on the homework, then you're going to do well on the quizzes also. And please do not, if it's definitions, memorize. But if it's calculations, don't try to memorize the answers. And just these are all multiple choice homework and uh, quizzes. So do not 
uh, again, definitions memorized, but these calculations try to understand because uh, you're going to have the same thing with different numbers on your exam. There is discussion. You can put your discussions and any problem you can share it uh, with other students. However, the main discussion is at the end of the semester. And uh, I think that's 5% of your grade. And that's a take home final. So what you're going to do, you're going to solve a take home final. It's about 50 problems and upload that. And that's the main discussion. And you get 10 points for that. If you get 10 points, then you get full credit for the discussions. I'll go the, over the categories right now. Then we have exams. We're going to have four exams. Then these are all Zoom exams. I'll go over the details right now. And uh, the final exam, uh, which is going to be the last day of plus the date of the final is there too. If you want to contact me, please send your emails to Canvas inbox. It's right here. So school email is good. So that Canvas inbox is the best way to get in touch with me. Anything you don't understand, just go or any questions. Just send it to me in the inbox and uh, I will get back to you. Uh, within four days for sure. And again, we are gonna have some meetings on a regular basis and office hours also. So let me go to the next item. The course description, please go ahead and read that. And again, what we're doing, we're going over these items one by one. The contact info, I already went over that. But uh, again, the Canvas inbox is the best way and this is my email address, the school email address, but try to not use that. And I still, and I put here, I will reply your email within four days. Or if I don't reply, if you have a meeting, then you can stay and you can talk to me. Helpful links, it's here also, that's SMC. You can go over that and uh, anything you need, you can just contact these people by using these links. Now here, this is important with the uh, assignments and grade distribution. Again, as I said, we're gonna have four Zoom exams with 100 points each, that's 65% of your grade. A group discussion with 10 points. And again, this is the sample final. Once we get there at the end of the semester, I'll go over all the details. What you need to do is to solve the sample, upload it, and uh, you get 10 points. If you get 10 points, then that's 5% of your grade. Homework assignments is 5% uh, of the grade. You can do those unlimited amount of time. So please do it so you can get 100% on every single homework. Then of course you have, we have for some sections, we have quizzes, not for all of them. And uh, you need to finish those also. At the end of the semester, we're gonna have a Zoom final, and that's a 200 points and that's 20% of your grade. And no makeup exam whatsoever. I have the dates for all four exams and the final to organize yourself so uh, you can be there. And this is for two classes. I'm teaching two sections. One is 44, 4205 and the other one is 4208. So 4205 meets earlier, but uh, uh, and uh, 4208, let's see, one is at 5.15 uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and the other one is at uh, 5, uh, 7.35 Tuesday, Thursday. Uh, again, we don't have uh, those lectures. It's just gonna be recordings and sometimes if needed, uh, we will have lectures. If I see some, uh, if there's some problems that everybody needs help on, then we can meet and uh, have a meeting. And all our Zoom meetings will be recorded and I'll upload it uh, on Canvas also. If you have, your average is 90 to 100% and that's an A. If it's 80 to 89 is a B, 70 to 79 is a C and so on. You don't have to do anything. Canvas is programmed to calculate your grade. So each time you take a homework or an exam, you're gonna see your grade right away. So let's go to the next item. Now, these are required items, rules, and uh, guide, guidelines. So you need to have, a, of course, a computer. And by now, I think everybody has that. One thing, if you have a Zoom meeting, you don't have to turn on your 
cameras, but if it's an exam, the cameras must be on. And I have to see you, especially your hands when you're taking the test. Uh, for exams, no late submission will be accepted, no makeup exams. Again, the date of all four exams and the final, it's there, we're gonna get to that. But organize yourself so you can come and take the, the exams at that time. So, and uh, if there is a work to be submitted, it has to be single PDF. And that's gonna be only for the sample final. I will talk about that. So don't forget to learn how to upload an exam or if it's a homework by using single PDF. Most exams are uh, just on Canvas multiple choice, but then sometimes I'll give you some assignments and you have to upload it. So learn how to do that, uh, please. And of course, we all have to take the final exam, even if you're getting 100% on all the exams and the homework, you have to be there during the final exam. Now discussions, uh, again, I will talk about it later. Once uh, we get discussions are open, you can always participate to that. But at the end of the semester for the sample final, I will open that and you can work on that together. But everybody has to submit an individual work. Due dates, late exams or any assignment submission will not be accepted. So please know that. Submissions, again, single PDF. And uh, once we get there, I'll tell you. But most exams are multiple choice. You have to do the calculations. And sometimes if I ask you to upload the calculations, your work, it has to be single PDF. If I don't, then you just answer the question. So, and uh, again, I let you read this so it's a, so you can understand how it works. And email guidelines is the same thing. One more time, Canvas inbox, please. Try to not use the school emails because I get a lot of emails uh, at the school site. But if you email me in the inbox, then I know which class, uh, which class you are in and who you are, it makes it much easier. Let's go to next academic dishonesty. <clears throat> and we all know all the exams are uh, Zoom exams. Again, the cameras must be on. But if you do something that you're not supposed to do, then I will call you on an individual Zoom meeting, ask you some questions. And if I you do, you break the academic honesty rule, then I will have to report you. So please don't. The material are very interesting and try to learn it. And if you follow what I tell you, there's no reason to not do, to do bad in the course. Next item are important days. I brought this, uh, just uploaded this from the school site. So you have all the days, the last day to drop the holidays and all that. So it's gonna be always available to you. You can take a look at that. Exam dates. These are all the exam days with the time. Both classes are going to take the, the exams at the same time. That's why I put that 6.45 to 8.45. All exams are about two hours except the final. And the final is three hours. But uh, uh, we all have to be present with our camera, uh, the cameras on with the Zoom meeting. And that's when we're going to take the exam. So refer to that. And for the final exam, the time is different for both classes and i'll go over that student learning outcome so read this do not worry about that if uh, we have to put it on the on our syllabi that if uh, any uh, in the future if we have to refer to this i'll let you know we'll talk about it now this is the date for uh, final exams again this Canvas pages for two classes and one is section 4205. Double check your section right now. The final exam for that section is going to be on December 16th from 3.30 to 6.30. And if you are in section 4208, then your final will be on December 14th at uh, 6.45. And again, the finals are three hours. So let me go back to modules. Now here, as you can see, besides the syllabus, and close this, 
we have four modules. For each exam, we have a module. So the material for the first exam is in the first module. Now, this is my view. And again, from here, I can go to student view. Let me go there. So this is what you see. So that was the syllabus. I went over that. And this is module one. And that's for exam number one. And the date, again, is going to be on September 21st. If you want to succeed in this course, you need to follow one by one all these items. So there are, so these are just read those, both of them. So there's a summary and the introduction to statistics. So this is the, you're gonna have the reading material and uh, let me go to next one. Sampling methods, these are very nice and uh, straightforward short videos from the YouTube. If you watch this couple of times or three times, then you can get familiar with sampling methods. Let me go to modules again. So, and so on. So you need to watch all these. These are, again, the first four, it's just definitions. And once you're done and watching them, taking notes, then take the first homework. Take this homework several times so you can get 100%. Once you're done with the homework, then go to the quiz and take that. Then if you go here, if I put Zoom lecture, then we're gonna start data analysis. So basically the first exam is on data analysis, which is uh, one part of it is definition, then calculations, then probability. So if you click here, you have, I did not take my Zoom lectures from the previous semester. You can watch that. If they're slow, you can fast forward it. And uh, of course you have the notes also that, so these are all, my notes, if you watch the recording and follow these notes and don't do it just once, did several times. And sometimes you're gonna see it twice. So please organize yourself and one by one go over all these items. And besides the Zoom lecture here, you can see a Zoom lecture. Also, I made my standalone videos on YouTube if you click on that. So these are much faster and uh, you can watch this, but do try to do all the items one by one and get used to it, organize yourself so you're ready for, for the exam. So, and so on. So follow these items one by one. And if uh, once you're done with all the homework, then you're gonna have, you're gonna see the sample exam. So. I do have a sample exam for each exam. So that's the exam. So the best thing to do is to try it yourself first. However, try it first, then I have a Zoom lecture, which is the review of exam number one. And also we should have the solution for sample exam number one. And the, in this case, let me click on that. And uh, yes, you do have the YouTube also. So I did solve the sample exam number one in detail for you. And uh, you can just watch that, but try to do it yourself first. And again, once you're done, then these are the formulas that you can use for exam number one. You can't use your notes, but you can use the formulas. Do not worry about the dates, please. So you can print this page and these are the formulas you need. Only formulas can be used during the test. Now, a couple of things that I wanna add, let me go over this. Now I do have uh, office hours. So it's gonna be from uh, on Tuesdays from uh, 3 p.m. to 5.15 p.m. and I will provide the Zoom link. It's just the same link for the class, so if you need to ask questions, you can come and then talk to me or ask questions and I will provide the Zoom. 
Next thing, the technology for this class is TI-84. Make sure to get that. You can go to Texas Instruments site, get it or uh, see how you can get it. If I have some info, I'll just put it on the uh, announcements. So uh, how to get that, but make sure to have it by not this week, but next week. And there are some lectures on TI-84. Again, what we're going to use is TI-84 or TI-84 plus, and you have to have that because without that, then uh, it's not going to be, uh, the exams are not going to be possible. On, in the lectures, I do have hand calculations. First, try to do the exercises with hand calculations, then everything is uh, done by using hand calculations and calculator also. But during the test, you have, you can use uh, the, the calculators and you do need to use your calculator. So again, we have module one, so if they close it, then module two, then once we're done with module one, then we're gonna prepare ourselves for exam number two, that's module two. Once that's done, then we're gonna go over module three, then module four, and once that's done, then we're gonna take our, our final exam. Again, we're not gonna meet uh, uh, the, with the hours uh, or the time provided in the schedule of classes, because this is an online class, However, I will have my office hours and uh, you know, we are going to sometimes meet if I kind of to check to see how everybody is doing. And if you follow this, every single item in the modules, not once, a couple of times, and uh, take notes, learn the material, I'm sure you're going to be able to do very well on the exams. Let me leave the student view now. So this is my view and we have the exam, but I haven't published this exam. So one more time, calculators, TI-84s. So start doing the research to see how you can get those calculators. And if once you get it, all the lectures here, there is just a Zoom lecture, that uh, lecture calculator and a couple of them actually. And uh, this is, Actually, these are just notes. So, and if you go to the previous one, what you need to do is check those items one by one. So you'll see the Zoom lectures and I might be uploading more lectures. If I see there's a question that everybody needs to understand, usually I record myself and put it on uh, on module. So you need to follow the module and organize yourself how you can finish the, all this material by September 21st. So it's in about uh, 21 days and this is not a lot, you just have to follow. Next thing we didn't see that is uh, the textbook. This is the textbook used. So that's just going to be your reading material. If uh, all the lectures do have reading material on Canvas, and some of them I got it from the textbook, but if you want to get the textbook, you can get that and just use for your own reading. So refer to the section. If anything is not clear, then you can just read the book. And I put the say, if you click on that, the site is there. And uh, how you get the textbook is completely your choice. I'm not gonna assign any homework from the textbook because I did make the homework myself from the textbook. But to read the material, it's very helpful. So I would suggest you to get it, watch my recordings and refer to that section and read the book so it can help you more. So let me go back to the home page, And one more time, do not worry about what you see here on the homepage. Just go to course syllabus or modules. That's how, where the course is organized. And I think that's it. Uh, I'm sure, well, we are gonna meet the first week and I'll go over this material uh, again and uh, I will answer questions. Please be there for the first meeting because I'm gonna take role also to see who's in the class. And uh, after that, I think, everything is clear. And if you follow whatever I said in this video, 
as I said, there's no reason to do bad in the class. It's pretty straightforward. And last semester, students did pretty good also. So that's it, and I'll see you all uh, very soon. Have a great day, and I'll see you on Tuesday.